Thanks for joining us at the Japan Food Channel. Today we're going to make an awesome roll that has eel and avocado on top. This stuff is fantastic. Now the first thing we're going to start with is our rice base. And if you don't know how to make that, click on the link. But here we have a scrambled egg that's made with brown sugar, about a teaspoon to one egg of brown sugar. It makes it nice and sweet to go with that sushi rice. We also have our cucumber here that we're laying right across, just like so. Now when we roll it up, you want to go ahead and roll over and you want to squeeze firmly but gently. You don't want to overkill it here. Definitely want to make it one tight roll, but not something where it just mashes everything together. You definitely don't want that. So just keep pulling the saran wrap forward slowly but surely, rolling and squeezing. And that'll get you the effect that you're after right there. Now we want to pull it out of the saran wrap. And here we have our eel prepared, and if you don't know how to cut the eel, go ahead and click on the link, and we have a guide there for the avocado as well. But what we're doing here is alternating these. The avocado and the eel really come together. There's something there with the creaminess of the avocado and the sweetness of the uh, eel and the unagi sauce mixed with the sweet sushi rice and the sweet egg inside of it and the crispiness of the cucumber that really just sings to the taste buds. This stuff is really good plus it gives that visual kick to the plate when you prepare it and serve it. So here's what it looks like. Now you want to go ahead and put saran wrap on top like so. Then get your bamboo mat again and squeeze gently but firmly. You really want to make sure that that eel and avocado stays on top without pulverizing it. And then you get your sashimi knife right here. If you don't have one, click on our link to their blog and check out the link to Amazon from there. These things are a steal on Amazon. Way cheaper than we got at the Asian store for. We link to it, we show you how to get it. You really need one in your kitchen if you're gonna be making sushi. But here we go through, we start from the center and cut to the outside. And once you have your slices cut, you put them on the plate like so for display. These come out really good, just like so. They taste awesome, and they just look so cool on the plate, too. Be sure to try this one at home. Everyone's going to love it who's there with you. Thank you for watching. We appreciate likes and comments. Please remember to subscribe.